M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've been playing around with this IAX RPT. Um, so we've not really done it before. I've got a DV switch app that does what I'm doing now, uh, but I thought I'd do this IAX RPT. Uh, I'll, I'll put the links in the description for downloading what you need. But first of all, I'm going to show you the Win SCP settings. So let's just go here, and uh, it's, this might just be a little bit complicated because even I am learning. So we'll open up WinSCP, <clears throat> which is basically talking to the SD card in my all-star node. And we'll double click. We've already got the root, the username, password in, which is root and then something else. Now the files you need to change are IAX conf. Don't look at the ones with dates and stuff. Look at the one here, the IAX conf. Double click that. Now just you'll have to look at mine and just get a feel for what I've done. So as we scroll down here, I'll show you the ones that I've changed. So I'm going down. Now you might have to copy and paste. I'll put them in the description, the ones I think you need to copy and paste. So ignoring a lot of it. And then here we are, we get to this section here. IAX RPT example. Now let's keep going because I actually use that section for um, my DV switch. So we'll keep going down, keep going down until we get to, we'll see it eventually. La la la, IAX repeater. So this is the section that I put in, okay? And we're just using a random password. So copy and paste this, and I will put it in the description, yeah, of this video. And then all you do is set your own password and just, that's what I've done there. So now we're gonna go into the uh, extensions file. So we'll close this down. I'm going to go down here to extensions, conf. There it is there, extensions. Double click that. And then I'm going to show you what I've done here as well. IAX, RP. now this is the section here. So all I've done is, again, I'll copy and paste the extension sec section into the description. All I've done is copy and paste this. I haven't actually changed anything, but I have made sure that this section here that says radio dash IAX RPT has got my node number in, look, here. See, extension equals my node number. There's a line and an X. And again, I'll copy and paste this section and this section for you. But obviously, you need to change the node numbers. And in this long section here that says phone IA, IAX RPT, again, your node number. The other thing you need is the IP address of your node number, which you can look up using an IP search. Or uh, with me, I could hear it calling it out. Now scrolling down, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I change. And I have got this section at the end now, but the thing is I've deleted it. So no, no, don't ignore that. So just do the bits I just talked about. Close this down. And like I said, I'm just going to scroll through carefully again. You can pause and copy things if you want. I've got my echo link settings in here somewhere as well. So this is the extensions comp. There you go, pause it where you like, and I'm going to go back into, close that one down, and go back to IAX conf, and again, general, I haven't touched that, radio proxy, I didn't use that, I'm still going down. Now, IAX client, this is the section I use to get my DV switch working, so if it helps you, copy away, but obviously you need a different password. Otherwise, this is the section. Um, and look, if you look at the section beneath that section as well, that's what I use to get DV switch working. And on mine, DV switch works, and so does IAX RPT, which is the Windows version of DV switch. Then going down through, I don't really think there's anything else um, that you need to have. See, there's another section here at the bottom. I don't think I used it. So that could be a duplication, but I'm not going to change it because it's working. So let's close that down. Let's go back to where we were. So why even use this? Well, watch this. So this is Superman connected to my all-star node, uh, which is on this IP address, 192.168.0.110. And I've registered an all-star number with allstarlink.org. Uh, straightforward. I've got a video uh, showing you how to do that. It's very straightforward. Just go to their site and they'll give you a number free of charge. And this number here is just the 
the number that is used to uh, test audio and I've, I've connecting via Supermon. So if I click connect. Node 40894 connected to node 53913. So that's an audio test. So let's just do it. Let's go transmit here at the bottom. M0 FXB test, M0 FXB test. You can see it goes to TX on Supermon and here. M0 FXB test, M0 FXB test. So you can see that works. I haven't really got the best optimized settings, but that worked. Now let's disconnect and let's see if we can call someone on Hubble. They'll probably say my audio is very low. So we'll disconnect. Okay, and then we'll... I haven't worked out how to connect using... IAX RPT yet because when I dial numbers here it doesn't seem to work so I am going to make a video following this video but right now let's just do what we know does work so we'll go 41522 in Supermon you do need to log into Supermon and the username is always admin really and then your password to, to control connections so we are 41522 and we'll hit connect and that will get us onto HubNet There you go. Did you hear that? Now just. So we'll just disconnect. Okay, and that's. A bit noisy. So what I need to teach myself, because normally I would use DTMF, there must be a way of connecting. Now I will try now, and then I'll post this video just so you can all. Um, have a go what I'm doing. Uh, four, if I put 41522 two, and then TX. No, it's not going to do nothing. So I need, it, it is TXing my node. So I just need to know how to sort of, maybe we TX and go star four, one, uh, one, five, two, two. Turn it off. No, so we do, we do, I don't know how to do this. So someone show me um, how to use this system, IAXRP, to actually connect to different nodes. But I think that's enough for now. I'm going to show you All Star Link here. All Star Link, like so. Where you get your All Star number. All sorts of help here. All star node list. There you are. New user node lists. Sign up, create yourself an account. And then the other th the link we used was you could put in ham VoIP. V O I P. Now you can still, I'm still connected. That's my all star node talking to the IAXRPT software. Uh, ham VoIP, and then we'll put I. A X R P T and hopefully we'll find this. I'll put the link in the description. There it is there. This is a PDF. Um and the one I well all the information's here, how to link. So if we read down through, we've this is the part we have done. Um log it in. Yeah, you select duplex. Actually that's what I didn't show you. I'm gonna show you the settings now in my IAXRPT. Go down, we know how to do it. Now what we want to see is how do you connect to nodes? We got the caller ID, setting caller Android. Yeah, this is all the different links that you can use here, look. We're putting in. And this is how you configure your phone, which is basically DV switch. Um, caller ID, it's not, show see, it's not showing me how to change nodes using IAX RPT, and I'm gonna ask my friend that. So settings on my, section here so options we'll go to accounts now we clicked add account um, so when you click add and I'll use edit now but when you click add so we'll use edit um, 
you have to select the account you've already got if you haven't already if you've got, already got one and then you can edit now this is the same so i've got my node number at the top is a account name description iax rpt the ip address is my actual all-star node username iax rpt which ties in with the settings you put into the asterisk then the same password that you're using in asterisk duplex that's what we got in that window then you click save these two boxes were already ticked then uh, let's click done what else we got here we've got devices where we've selected microphones input sources speakers so i've just got the laptop at the moment view there's some tips there keyboard yeah keyboard shortcuts and a load of help as well maybe the help would tell me no that's not very good help is it <laughs> it's like advertising so there you go let's go back to where we were we'll quickly connect back to hubnet There you are, Hubnet, good as usual. We can disconnect there. So, 7.3, I'll call this a learning video about how to set up IAX RPT. 7.3, thanks for watching, all the best.